So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top highlights from the drugstore. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now, but I had some te technical difficulties with my highlights. One of my top favorite highlights actually got lost. I don't know what happened to it. So I had to replace it. I actually replaced it. And then of course, one of my other highlights breaks. So it sucks right now, but I still wanted to make this video. I wanted to get it up for you guys and show you guys my highlights just because I feel like it's all about highlights nowadays and especially from the drugstore, I always get a lot of questions where, you know, like which highlights are the best from the drugstore. So this is what this video is going to be about. So stay tuned if you want to see more of that. So the first highlight I wanted to talk about is actually my top favorite drugstore highlight at the moment. It's the best out of all of these I feel in my eyes and these are the Milani Instant Glow Powders, the strobe light powders. This one right here is in the shade Afterglow, which is more of a pearly highlight. I am going to be swatching all of these in the back of my hand for you guys. Look at that, you guys. Oh my god. How beautiful is that? So this is Afterglow, I believe, yes. And then I have Day Glow, which is this beautiful, more champagne-looking highlight. And... That's how this one looks. It's a little bit more champagne, more goldy. This one is actually the one that I have on my cheekbones as we speak. And look how gorgeous it is, you guys. These are not chunky. They don't have any glitter on them. They are super buttery, very pigmented, and they are just amazing, you guys. I used one of these Afterglow in my last video, the contour and highlighting video. If you guys want to see that, I'll list it down below. It is so gorgeous. That was my first time using it, and I loved it so much. They're just so good, you guys. If you could get your hands on them, definitely do it. They're worth every penny in my eyes, and they have easily became one of my top favorite highlights from the drugstore. They're highlights. Sorry, she's asking me what I have. So my second place highlight is definitely going to go to my Flower Cosmetics highlighting. What is this? <laughs> Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This is the one that I lost. I don't know what happened to it, you guys. It just went missing. And I had to replace it, go get another one, and I finally did. Now, what is funny is that when I first got this highlight, I threw the brush away because I was like, I feel like this brush is really going to suck. I didn't want nothing to do with it. I grabbed it. I tossed it. I didn't even try it out. But the second time around that I got this palette, I kept the brush. And you guys, like, no kidding. I was so happy that I did because it will. if you're a person that just doesn't have highlight brushes and you get this palette use this brush because it is not bad. I actually feel like using it right now. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some on right now. So these are three of the highlights. I like to take all three highlights and just do this. And oh, I need my mirror. Hold on, guys. So I like to take all three and brush it on there. Oh my god. You guys see that? Look at that difference. It's so pearly. I love these highlights. So I'm going to do the same. So I don't add any pressure or anything. I kind of just swivel it around just like that. And look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this highlight, you guys. It is so good. And this brush is awesome. So yes, definitely keep the brush. Don't throw it away. Don't be dumb like I did, like I was. And now let's actually talk about the highlights. So this palette comes with three highlights. It comes with a nice pearly highlight. It comes with more of a rosy highlight. And then it comes with more of a champagne highlight. I am going to swatch all three of these. That was just one swipe, you guys. Um, let's see. So that's the more pearly one. The more rosy one, and then the more champagne one. That was one swipe. You guys saw that. Look how freaking beautiful that is. These highlights are on another level of soft and creamy and smooth. These Milani ones are really smooth, but this one definitely take the, takes the cake when it comes to that. I, ugh, it is so freaking good. Now, the only thing that's wrong with this palette is that it's not very universal. I see that it has three shades, but just because it has three shades, I don't feel like it's going to suit every skin tone. So if you're a person that's like a little darker than me or darker, you might not want to get this palette just because I feel like it's going to be too light. It, sometimes it can even look a little bit white if you're too dark. So yeah, for that reason, it sucks because not everybody can get it. I just don't feel like it suits every skin tone, but 
For those of you who can, it is amazing, it's beautiful, it's worth every penny, you guys. It is so, like, there's nothing bad, really, I have to say about the palette, the, the highlights themselves. It is super, super pretty and worth every penny because I know it's like $13 or like $10, it just depends where you get it. I thought it was pricey at first, but you're getting three highlights, so, yeah, it's definitely worth it, you guys. Coming in to third place will definitely be my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I've Precious Petals. I feel like this shade in particular is very popular. I feel like it's the most universal when it comes to the highlights that they took out. Because I know there was just one more and it's a little bit too dark I feel. But this one is so pretty. The reason that this highlight made it more towards third place for me is because when it's dry, when I apply it dry on my face, I'm not a huge fan of it. It looks kind of, you know, chalky, a little bit of textury. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm not using it right, but I mean, come on. I use all kinds of highlights all the time, and this one just does that for me. Now, it's my favorite when I wet my face first and then apply it because it then it looks so freaking beautiful. It's shimmery. It's gleaming. Like, it looks so gorgeous. It doesn't have any glitter. It doesn't feel chunky. It's very smooth as well, but like I said, like I just don't feel like it's as pigmented as the rest, but yeah, look at that, you guys. This one looks more vibrant, I feel, than these, but it doesn't even have any glitter. Maybe it might have tiniest specks, but not really. Like you can't it. really see any. I, like it. I know, it's pretty, right? But yeah, the color is so gorgeous. It's not like these over here. It's more of like a peachy, rosy shade, and it's so, so pretty, this one right here. So yeah, it's only like $3. Go get your hands on it if you can. It's so inexpensive, and... Like I said, it's not my favorite if I don't wet it, but if I wet it, it is so, so, so good, you guys. Okay, so the next highlight that I wanted to talk about is my Hard Candy Highlight in the shade Tiki. This is the highlight that broke. At this moment, I have the one that broke on the cap, and this is the bottom of it, but this is what it looks like. I kind of just wanted to show you guys it anyway because this is one of my favorite highlights from the drugstore. If you're going for a very glowy, subtle, you know, if you're a girl that's starting out with highlight, and I know how it could feel sometimes, like when you start off with your highlight and you don't want it to look crazy pigmented because you're still not used to that look, if you want to start off with a subtle highlight, trust me, you need this one because it doesn't have like crazy glitter, it's not chunky, but it still, do it still doesn't look like as vibrant as these. It's very, very subtle and it's definitely buildable. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but maybe if you compare it with like these, you guys could see what I'm saying. It is so beautiful though. I love how it glows on your skin. It just makes you look glowy. Like it doesn't make you look like shining or beaming or nothing. Like I don't know how to explain it, but I do have this on my brow bone and my inner corner highlight and I just put it under my inner corner there. It looks so freaking pretty. Like it looks so natural. And that's what I love about it so much. So if you want that natural, subtle highlight, but still want to look glowy, pick this up, please. It is so freaking beautiful. So good. The last highlight I wanted to talk about is this e.l.f. baked highlight in the shade Moonlight Pearls. This highlight, when I first got it, I was like, I totally missed the memo of scratching the top first and then swatching it because I should have just went like this. And it was so freaking hard. I was like... What's going on here? Like, is this real? Is this a joke? Like, who would buy this? And then somebody told me that I need to scratch off the, you know, the surface first and then swatch it and then look what happens. It is so freaking beautiful. Now, this was definitely last place because in my eyes it is the cheap, cheaper one and it's not as good as the other ones, but it's still very good for the price that you're paying. So that's what it looks like right there. Not there. As y'all can see, it's not as pigmented, but it's definitely very buildable. And it reminds me a lot of Tiki Highlight from um, Hard Candy. It's very natural, very glowy, and I love it so much. So this is definitely worth picking up as well. Like $2, it's so cheap. Not even, you know, if you don't like it, it's not that disappointing. You know what I mean? So yes, very, very pretty. And I feel like everybody's been raving about it for a good reason though, because for the price, you can't go wrong, guys. Okay, guys, so this was all my highlights. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope this video was helpful. And, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.